What the Fuke. Welcome back to Barnsley Music. My name is Barney. I'm a classical composer and the founder and director of Barnsley Music. I spent the last five years of my life living in Paris, France, and there I studied a lot of things, harmony, counterpoint, but ultimately fugue. However, now that I'm back in America, I have quite a dilemma, which is that no one knows what a fugue is, or very people, very few people know what a fugue is. So in this series, I'm looking to kind of communicate with anyone who loves music and who loves to learn. So that was the viola part from this fugue. And if you remember from the first episode of the fugue, we have different lines. This is a fugue for string orchestra. And we're focused now on just the individual parts. Let me play again. fugue, and I think we talked about this in the first episode, is when you look at the individual parts, it sounds like a different piece of music. Okay? So, in our last episode, we talked about steps and leaps, and let's continue with that. Now, I'm going to sing a little bit to, to, to illustrate, but keep in mind, I'm not a professional singer. Professional composers know the difference. Do, fa, do, fa. That's called a leap. We saw that the last episode. Do, fa. And how do we know, how do we verify that it's a leap or a jump? Is if you can fill in the notes with a small little scale, then you know it's a leap. Now, some of you can probably tell by ear, but it's always good to be able to verify. Okay, it's called a justification. Did you hear kind of like a repetition of the melody? It's kind of, it's kind of a sub-melody. It's not like a main melody, but... Okay, so it's kind of like ear training. That's called a leap. Okay. And leaps can be dramatic here. I don't really consider it too dramatic, but it's expressive. Okay. I sure hope you're enjoying this educational series. I'd just like to mention that what we're hearing is an excerpt from Salambo, my opera ballet. I'm currently looking for an opera company or some comp any kind of classical music education company that programs opera that would like to collaborate and help realize my, my beautiful uh, opera ballet. Now, we already saw in the last episode before we looked at leaps, we looked at steps. So steps are the opposite of leaps. I'm going to play that slowly and just notice how it just goes up or goes down, but it never goes too far. And we talked about how the music from the fugue is coming from the music from the church, from the Renaissance especially, and vocal music. And of course, with the voice, it is much easier to sing um, stepwise.
the sub melody has a couple notable leaps. But afterwards, there are always steps. Try singing that. Do, fa, mi, re, do, re, do, si, la. So one of the principal ideas is when we have a leap, that we recover it by step. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this educational or useful, please let me know in the comments. If you did not enjoy this, then please go back to TikTok. And I will see you in the next episode of What the Fugue.